Well, good morning, guys. People, world, whoever, wherever. Anywho. Uh, life changes, I guess. Projects change. Um, and people get sick, apparently. And, uh, yeah. I got sick. I'm sick. It is Tuesday. I gotta leave tomorrow morning. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it was from playing with the tractor. From the tractor rolling coal. Uh, dust, weeds, allergies. I have no clue. Or if it's from 3D printing. Or plastic. Anyway. Uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah. So I got a project today. And no it's not working on this thing. It is working on this thing. Kid came home yesterday. Comes in. A ball joint came out again. I'm like, what? They're welded. He's like, yep, they came out. So, this is what actually came out. So, this piece here, so the ball joint threads into this piece. This piece is supposedly pressed on to there. So, we got a blown out ball joint again. I, th I think I'm gonna, I think what I'm gonna do is find a way to either weld a heim joint on here and do a bolt or try to make some uh, tubular control arms, upper control arms. Uh, I got a buddy who's a, well, a guy from the railroad who knows how to TIG and play with stuff, so I'm going to bring him in one of the old control arms and see what he thinks he can do. Because these are, you know, these are brand new control arms. Brand new, threaded the ball joints in, or actually no, they came with ball joints. They both came with ball joints installed, and the driver ball joint popped out. So I welded it, just put a couple little beads on it to keep the ball joint in there after I pressed, pushed it back in there, because I tried threading it back in there and it would just spin. You guys should know if you guys watch my videos. Anyway, so then he was driving, blah, 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 came home, and this one popped out. And this one was threaded in completely. So now he came home, and now this sleeve is popped off. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with these things. So, I'm, I mean, it's all coming from the leveling kit we put in. You know, we put a two inch leveling kit on the truck and I'm pretty sure that's what it's coming from but I'm not sure so I think we're gonna heim join it or uh, make some control arms of ourselves um, probably just make up a jig with one of the other ones well you have to do a left and a right <clears throat> so I'll have to make up some jigs and uh, yeah, I'll go from there. Anyway, so I wasn't feeling it, so the kid uh, took the truck, my truck, and uh, while I'm gonna press this back in there, and I guess I'm gonna have to try to weld it. You can see right there. I don't know if you can see or not. The weld. Who's ever weld that was? I'm assuming it's a factory weld. That came off. So, anyway, back to the drawing board. Anyway, all right, I'm going to get working on this. I'm also going to do oh, tire rotation on the truck. Check his fluids, check everything, make sure everything is good. And, uh, yeah, go from there. So, that's what I'm doing for today. And then after that, I do that, I'm done I'm resting. i got to get up at 4 in the morning. And uh, head off to Grand Junction, Colorado. So, alright guys, it's going to be it for this video. Actually, no, it won't. I'll be back. I'll show you what I did.
All right, got the truck all apart. So I think I figured out what I'm going to do with this truck. So I think the scrap yard opens at 12.30. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, this, this hole inside here is 7 eighths of an inch. <clears throat> so at the top, obviously it's a tapered hole. So I think it's about 5 eighths of an inch on the bottom. 7 eighths up here. So I pressed it back in already. <clears throat> But what I'm going to do <clears throat> is I'm going to weld in a heim joint. So it's two inches inside diameter here. So in there. From this side to this side is two inches. like 2.012. Um, anyway, so right now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to drill a hole into here. Uh, maybe not. I don't know what I'm going to do. I pressed it back in. It's not going to stay. Um, if I can get... I don't know if you can see in there. But that's the lip of the metal that's in there. So I think what I'm going to do... Sorry, too close. I'm just looking. Um... I honestly don't know what I'm going to do. Somehow I need to weld it. I don't want to put any welds in here. Um, I suppose I could actually. I could probably just shoot a weld here, shoot a weld on here to keep it from coming out. <clears throat> and then, uh, yeah, I guess that's what I'm going to have to do. I'm just going to do one on each side, one little bead on each side. <clears throat> and then, uh, once I get the heim joint, I'll obviously I'll just grind those off, grind those out, those two, and then uh, ream it inside there, and uh, stick a heim joint in there, and then weld it up in there. So I'll weld it on both sides, I think, or maybe just be this underside. So I think that's the best plan, just because that's as far as this thing can move, and I think that's what's going on, is it's because of the leveling kit, this piece, you know, this ball joint here wants to push out more. It wants to come more out to this angle. And when it wants to come out to this angle, it grabs this whole thing and twists it out. So I think if we would have had regular, no lift, I think we would never had a problem. So I can't really blame <clears throat> the control arm company. Um, I think it's just a leveling kit that we did. I'm sure, I'm basically 100% sure that it's the leveling kit, um, which is why nobody recommends doing the leveling kit on those. They recommend doing springs, but then again, springs, bring it up with new springs or put one ton springs in there, whatever people are doing. Um, they're still having a problem. So I just got it written down. So that's outside diameter is 2 inch, 7 eighths inch hole, and then uh, I guess I'll just drill it. I'll get a, a grade 8, 7 eighths inch bolt, and okay, I do. I was going to say if I had a 7 eighths inch drill bit, and I do. So if not, I'll, if that one don't work, I'll just buy another one. Another set somewhere, somehow. Anyway, and that's the ball joint press tool. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot two welds, put it back together, rotate the tires, and uh, set the alignment. I did mark the alignment keys. So as you can see, the little white mark on there is going to line up with the white mark on there. And that one. And that one. <clears throat> so anyway, guys. That's going to be it. I'm going to do this, rotate the tires, check his crap, and uh, I'm going to call it a day and just hang out um, and relax. So, anyway guys, thanks for watching. Too many projects. Got that thing. So that's what's going to, I'm going to have to do when I get back. This project's still 
pending. That Cummins six seven still there. Oh, and the tractor. What can I say? I just got too much stuff on my hands. But anyway, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys like, like, dislike. Don't care. Just watch the video. Give me some subscribers. Subscribe. Talk crap. I don't care. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, later.